afterwards, he rose above it. His attitude was, my life will do the talking. Time will answer my critics. You see, when somebody's talking about you and being disrespectful, we have to make a decision. Am I going to be a chicken and start talking bad about Am I going to be a crow and argue and try to prove that I'm right? Or am I going to be an eagle and rise above it and let my life answer my critics? And there's something about a person that's being talked about and criticized, criticized, but he just keeps giving it his best, being promoted, seeing God's blessings and favor. Even an athlete, think about it. You can criticize the guy, badmouth him, say he's all washed up, but then he goes out week after week, hits home runs, makes game-winning catches, plays like a superstar. He doesn't have to answer his critics. He lets his actions defend himself. The same way, we should not spend all of our time trying to win our critics over. We should spend that same time improving our own skills, bettering our own life. I know when my father went to be with the Lord and I first started ministering, I heard some people saying, well, I don't really think Joel can preach. And the reason I didn't argue is because I agreed with them. I had never preached.